this video we're going to look at the biological redox reactions of alcohols and phenols. Over here on the left we have the ethanol molecule. So this is uh, our two carbon alcohol. And the carbon that we're most concerned with is this carbon right here, which has one bond to this oxygen atom. And in the liver, ethanol is oxidized to ethanol. So over here on the right is the ethanol molecule, a two carbon aldehyde. And once again, we're concerned with that carbon in yellow. And so one easy way to tell that ethanol was oxidized to ethanol is to see that on the left we have one bond of that carbon to oxygen, and over here on the right, we now have two bonds of that carbon to oxygen. So an increase in the number of bonds to oxygen is oxidation. You could also assign oxidation states uh, to this carbon, and, and you will see that there's an increase in the oxidation state of that carbon. And then you could also think about electrons, right? So uh, Leo the line goes Ger. Loss of electrons is oxidation. Gain of electrons is reduction. And so if I think about these electrons here in magenta, you can see that those electrons are lost from the ethanol molecule. So loss of electrons is, uh, is oxidation, ethanol is oxidized. If ethanol is oxidized, something else must be reduced. That's how redox reactions work. And what's reduced is NAD plus over here on the left. So this is NAD plus, which stands for uh, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. The adenine is hiding in this R portion, and we have a nitrogenous-based ring with an amide functional group over here on the right for the nicotinamide portion of the molecule. Plus one formal charge on this nitrogen gives us NAD+. So this is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, NAD+, and since ethanol is oxidized, NAD+, must be reduced. So reduction means gaining of electrons, and so NAD+, is going to gain those electrons in magenta from ethanol. So if we think about a possible mechanism, uh, if I took these electrons between the oxygen and the hydrogen and moved them in here, that would form our double bond between the carbon and the oxygen. But there'd be too many bonds to, to this carbon right here. So the electrons in magenta are going to move to this carbon down here on NAD+, to this carbon. That would push these electrons over here, and that would push these electrons here off onto the nitrogen. So if we, uh, if we showed what happened with the movement of all of those electrons, right, over here on the right, this carbon right here at the top already had a hydrogen bonded to it. Right, and it gained another hydrogen with two electrons. The two electrons were the ones in magenta right here. So this, this hydrogen right here is this hydrogen, and the electrons in magenta move over there to our ring. And then we would also have right, pi electrons moved over here, and then we had a lone pair of electrons move off onto the nitrogen like that. And then we still had some pi electrons over here on the right. And so this molecule is called NADH. Right, so it's gained it's gained the equivalent of a hydride, right? A hydrogen with two electrons, and so we can see that NAD plus gains two electrons, and gains gaining electrons is reduction. So NAD plus is reduced to NADH. Since NAD plus is is reduced, it allows ethanol to be oxidized, and so we would refer to NAD plus as an oxidizing agent, right? It is the oxidizing agent for ethanol. Uh, even though it itself is being reduced. So that's something that confuses some general chemistry students sometimes. All right, so now over here we have the NADH molecule, and this, uh, this reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme, and the enzyme is alcohol dehydrogenase. Okay, so this is the catalyzed by the alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme like that, and this reaction is reversible. So if we think about the reverse reaction, right, we, we think about ethanol being reduced to ethanol. And so if ethanol is reduced to ethanol, NADH would be oxidized to NAD+. And so let's think about a mechanism where we could oxidize NADH and reduce the ethanol. If I took this lone pair of electrons in the nitrogen and move it back in here, Right, that would push these electrons off over here, and now the electrons in magenta on this on this bond right here 
would attack this carbon right here. So the electrons in magenta, right, we could think about the electrons in magenta, right, as being right here. And you could think about that as being a hydride, right? So a hydrogen with two electrons giving it a negative one formal charge. And e even though we, we've, saw in, we've seen in some earlier videos that hydride isn't necessarily the best nucleophile, you can think about this as being a nucleophilic attack if it makes it easier for you because this carbon right here would be partially this carbon right up here would be partially positive and right so the negatively charged electrons would attack that carbon and in in doing so that would push these pi electrons off to then to then grab this proton here uh, and and that would give you your ethanol molecule and that would convert NADH back into NAD plus so you could think about NADH right is being oxidized it is losing it is losing two electrons right the electrons in magenta loss of electrons is oxidation and since NADH is the agent for the reduction of ethanol to ethanol you would say that NADH would be the reducing agent for this example and the best way to remember that NADH is the reducing agent is it is the one that has the hydrogen on it so it has the hydride which is capable of being the agent for the reduction so there Therefore, NADH is the reducing agent. This NAD plus NADH conversion and, and vice versa is extremely important in biochemistry. This happens in numerous biochemical reactions. And so it's important to understand um, what's happening with those electrons on these molecules. Let's, let's look at another biochemical example of redox. And um, here we have on the left phenol, right? So this is our phenol molecule. And once again, we're, we're most concerned about this carbon, the one that's, that's attached to this oxygen. And uh, there are many ways to oxidize phenols, right? So if we oxidize phenol, like something like the Jones reagent with sodium dichromate, sulfuric acid, and water would be uh, would be capable of oxidizing phenol to this molecule over here on the right, which we call benzoquinone, right? So this is this right here is a benzoquinone molecule and just real fast you could see that you know this carbon right now has two bonds of carbon to oxygen of carbon to oxygen so it has been oxidized so phenol can be oxidized to benzoquinone using numerous organic reagents once you make benzoquinone uh, you could reduce that um, to this molecule over here on the right which is called hydroquinone so there are there are several again organic reagents that can reduce benzoquinone to hydroquinone uh, hydroquinone let me change that spelling there and then from hydroquinone right you could oxidize hydroquinone back to benzoquinone pretty easily and so once again in organic chemistry there are lots of reagents that can do these uh, these redox conversions and in the body you're usually talking about the NAD plus NADH system Right, so so we've just studied that, and uh, if we look here at this molecule, you can see it's a it's a quinone, right? So so you can see the benzoquinone portion of this molecule, and this is called ubiquinone. Uh, you be referring to the fact that this is ubiquitous. Uh, this compound is found in all, everywhere. It's found in all the cells in, in nature. And uh, the other name for this would be uh, coenzyme Q. And so this is uh, this is a very important uh, part of the electron transport chain. Um, and if if we look at ubiquinone. Going to this molecule over here on the right, you can see this is uh, this is like a hydroquinone analog here. So this is ubiquinol, and so this these carbons right are being reduced right from this uh, from this uh, chemical reaction that I've drawn here. So ubiquinone is being reduced to ubiquinol, and so if ubiquinone is being reduced, something else must be oxidized, right? And so the NADH is being oxidized to NAD+. And so the NADH, right, it's the one that has this, this hydride on here, which can serve as the reducing agent. So here NADH is acting as the reducing agent, the agent for the reduction of ubiquinone to the ubiquinol molecule over here on the right. And so this is, this is just an, an oversimplification of part of the electron transport chain, right, where you're where you're transporting electrons, which eventually leads to oxidative phosphorylation and also ATP synthesis, which of course gives us gives us energy. And so this isn't meant to be um, an exhaustive uh, detail of those biochemical processes, uh, but it's just to show you uh, how 
uh, you can analyze biochemistry using using a simple knowledge uh, of organic chemistry and the importance of NAD plus and NADH in biological systems.